Wow! It has already been five days. I can't believe it. I really enjoyed sharing pirate jokes with you guys. Like this one. Why did the pi- How much did the pirate buy for his hook and his peg leg? An arm and a leg? <laughs> <laughs> or this one. Why is a pirate so good at basketball? Because he has a fabulous hook shot! <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope today at Buccaneer Bay they catch the evil Mr. Henson. Well, it has been a great time I've had here. Bon voyage. Come on, Blanky. They don't want us anymore. Okay, listen. Mr. Henson is headed this way, so I'm going to alert the detective. You stay here and keep him occupied. Any questions? Nope, I've got it. Okay, now whatever you do, do not let him out of your sight. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna stick to him like glue. Huh. I'm sorry, I'm going to miss this. Ooh, boy, this is gonna be fun. Hey, it's me. No, okay. They're on the final leg right now. I know, payday is just around the corner. Okay, oh yeah, yeah, I got, I've got them all. I've got the hook, I've got the crown, I've got the heart, and pretty soon, maybe even Captain Scurvy Legs Gold. I know, I know, Pfft, not bad for a couple days work, don't you think? No. Don't even worry about her. Yes, I know she's on me, but it's, it's no clue. I mean, seriously, I've got nothing to fear. So, uh, any news on your end? Hey! Hey, kid! Hey, I'm trying to... You might go somewhere else? Hey! Hey, kid! Hey! Turn it off! Do you mind? I'm trying to do a phone call here. Mine? Oh no, I don't mind. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey! Hey! There, that looks better. Oh, sorry. I hope I didn't interrupt your phone call. It's all right, forget it. It's done now. Oh. Um, can I get you anything to eat? Yeah, um, nachos. Okay, one bowl of nachos coming right up. And here you are. Thank you. And there's that. Okay. Lovely day we're having today, right? I know. Right? Hey! What's wrong? Oh, I'm Watch what you're doing! I'm sorry, I looked away for one second and look what happened. Forget it. It's just, it's just water. So, you still want your nachos? Yeah, I guess. Good, there's not much I can mess up with that one. Wow. What is that? Oh, there you are, little There's a little... lizard in my nachos. <laughs> there you are, little buddy. I was looking for you. <laughs> Forget it, I'm out of here. I've had enough. No, you're not. What are you talking about? Look behind you. What is? What's this about? Gino Patel, you are under arrest 
for the stealing of Captain Ook's Ook. What are you talking about? My name is Tobias Henson, and I work for a law firm. Oh, is that so? Would you care to explain this book then? How to impersonate a lawyer in 10 easy steps. <laughs> Dylan here found it in your briefcase yesterday. Now come on, confess, you are not a lawyer. So, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. It is up to you. Oh, my oh. back. Oh, oh. Uh. I'm Stanley. This detective. Wait, not this that way, way, this you. way. Wait, where'd he go? Get back here, I'm sent. Go get him. Ah. Get back here, snake! Say, crime doesn't pay. Ah, oh, be quiet. Nice work, Stanley. Let's go. Detective, I, it's... I know, I was just teasing you. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny, good one. <laughs> that was awesome! That really couldn't have gone better. Well done. Yeah! What's going on? Uh, why was Mr. Henson in handcuffs? Because yeah. Mr. Henson wasn't really Mr. Henson after all. What? Uh, what? That's right. His name is Gino Patel. He's an international antiquities thief. Really? Uh, well, that's crazy. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Henson really wasn't a lawyer after all, but a bad guy? That's right. If it wasn't for Detective Dylan here, we probably wouldn't have caught him. Well, way to go, Dylan! Yeah, good job! Thanks. Wow! You know what, why don't you take the rest of the day off? Well, really? Yes, go have some fun! Oh, thanks! You're the best, Miss Mabry! Oh, I just can't believe that about Mr. Henson. Oh, I know, I was shocked when I found out. But, anyways... You two finished the last leg, didn't you? <laughs> yes, we did. We did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and here's what we found. Oh, you can't wait to see uh, A mini treasure chest. But we can't get it open. Yeah. Well, that's because I have the key. <gasps> <gasps> I wonder what's inside. Maybe the directions to Captain Scurvy Legs Gold. Oh, it's a diamond. And a really big one at that. I wonder whose it was. Maybe Cleopatra. Or the Queen of Sheba. <laughs> what does the fact sheet say about it? Well, we don't have a fact sheet for this one. Mm -hmm. We have something much, much better. A video message from your Uncle Joe. What? what? Hello, Emily, Everett. Believe it or not, I'm your Uncle Joe. And if you're watching this, I guess that means I'm gone which is a really strange thought. But anyway, I'm just sorry, really sorry that we never met. And it's my fault entirely. You see, I left home when I was 16, before your dad was born and never came back. Something I deeply regret. But I wasn't just running away. I was pursuing a dream, a passion that I had. I wanted to see the world and hunt for buried treasure. So that's what I did, from the top of the world to the bottom of the ocean and everywhere in between. I've searched countless ruins, caves, and shipwrecks, looking for long lost treasures and artifacts. Ah, then I heard about Captain Scurvy Legs Gold, the treasure of all treasures, and knew right away I had to find it. So I packed my things and moved to Mystery Island. Then I searched and searched and searched. For years I searched, but found nothing until one day when I was at my wit's end, 
I stumbled upon an old stone church tucked away at the north end of the island. Now, I've never been a churchgoer, but that day, for some reason, I had to check it out. Inside was an old man on his knees praying. When he saw me, he asked if he could help. I must have looked desperate. So I told him about Captain Scurvylegs and my lifelong quest for treasure. He listened patiently and then asked if I'd like to hear about the treasure he'd found. A treasure that was far, far greater than the one I was searching for. And of course, I was interested. Then he told me about the one true God, the creator, the king of the universe, a God of righteousness, holiness, and justice, but also a God of mercy, goodness, love, and forgiveness. A God who knows everything, sees everything, and can do miracles. A God with no beginning and no end. A God who never changes, whose ways are higher than ours. And sadly, a God I didn't know. But then he explained to me how I could know God by turning from my sins and trusting in what Jesus did for me on the cross. So I became a child of God that day and my life changed. Suddenly I had an intense desire to share this new treasure with my friends and neighbors. I also began working on a plan to reunite with the family, but that was derailed by a bad health report, which is why you're here right now. I have many regrets, many things I would do differently, but I can't change that. All I can do is finish well, and so I want to give you something. Sure, I've got some valuable artifacts, three of which you already have, but that's not where the true riches are, not by a long shot. No, the real treasure is in a relationship with that one true God, and that's what I want you to really have. The Bible says in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Now, what could possibly be more valuable than that? So if you're interested, oh, and I hope you are, I've asked Ms. Mabry to explain God's plan of salvation more adequately. She can also answer any questions you might have. And with that, I'll say goodbye. And I hope to see you both on the other side. Goodbye, Emily. Goodbye, Everett. That, that makes me so sad. I know. He was such a sweet guy. He used to come here all the time. He loved this side of the island. So, did you two have any thoughts about what he said? Yeah. It's a bummer he never found Captain Scurvyleg's gold. <clears throat> I think she was referring to the part about God. I know. I'm just disappointed, that's all. But Uncle Joe wasn't disappointed, was he? No, not at all. Because he realized that even though he'd spent 20 years looking for it, that he had found something so much better. <laughs> a relationship? With God. Yep, that's right. And you can find that too, if you'll trust him. And who better to trust than a God who is amazingly great and perfectly good? You know, Everett, she's right. I know, we need what Uncle Joe had. Really? Uh-huh. That's incredible. I'm, I'm going to get my Bible because we have a lot to talk about. Mystery Island